I've been practicing as a criminal defense attorney representing mostly the indigent in my county for over 21 years. I believe in service. I believe in serving your community and I have very strong feelings about protecting our constitutional protections. So in particular to criminal district court number two, I believe that each person that comes before the bench should be given respect and acknowledgement of their dignity and even though the felony they're charged with may be a comparatively small matter in the balance of the other matters that come before the court that's still very important to that one person so it may be only a state jail felony which in texas is our smallest felony only exposes you two years maximum punishment but it's still that person's liberty that person's criminal history for the rest of their life and very important to that person so in this court over the term of this judge, there have been occasions when favorite lawyers are appointed to come to court, be appointed to a person's state jail felony, meet the person that day, and be under incredible pressure to go ahead and take care of that case that day through plea bargaining without any investigation of the case. I'm trying to understand. So you think um, this is something that a judge dictates? how the adjudication of a given case is taking place. So a judge can influence the behavior of a public defender? The job I have is kind of Tarrant County's answer to a public defender office. But yes, there can be very strong pressure for what we call same-day disposition. Get it and move it. Uh, so like some uh, quite a few cases that we saw in, in the Dallas County as we're going back, you know, particularly we only focusing on the DNA evidence, you know, these are rather uh, hard uh, cases. So what we, in the community, we hear some murmur that the case was uh, started and done, and as somebody said, you know, if it was a, uh, uh, somebody with a different uh, skin color would have given a different uh, uh, treatment. So th you don't think that the perception in the community is not very uh, off base then? I think that the public is smarter than many folks give them credit for. They see in their life what is going on and I believe that actions speak louder than words. One of the things, it's my understanding, that the Dallas District Attorney's Office is trying to regain is respect and integrity for the entire uh, police process so that you can trust the process that goes on.